Hey guys, welcome to my first tutorial on this YouTube channel. Today we want to create this stylized looking low poly tree. And the first thing we will do is to press Shift A on our keyboard, add a an UV sphere and we will turn proportional editing on. The next thing we will do is to go to edit mode. You can also go to edit mode by pushing tab and then edit mode. So when you are here you will turn edge select on by clicking this icon or two on your keyboard. We select all with push uh, with pressing A, select all, S and Z. And we want something that looks similar to this. Looks a little bit like an egg. <laughs> um, what we do first is to edge select here. Uh, we do this by clicking Alt or Option on our keyboard and we have the whole edge selected. Now you push S on your keyboard, push S and you have this circle here. It's a circle of influence and with your middle mouse wheel you can push it up or down and everything around is influenced by this circle. And uh, depends on how big the circle is, you can influence your whole object. What we want is to push it out a little bit, something like this. Select this edge, make it a little bit smaller, push it out a little bit, then R, R to rotate, to give it a little bit of variation. We press option again, edge select, S to scale, scale it outwards a little bit, and then you press G on your keyboard, then Z, and move it a little bit up. What we will do next is to edge select here, S, scale it a little bit out, now G, then Z, push it upwards and now we click Ctrl and B to bevel and by holding these buttons we will move our mouse and you see we create a bevel. Now we select this edge here, push it outwards and do the same thing. But first we want to rotate it to give it a little bit of a variation. You can make this on your own taste, so if you like to uh, add more details to your tree, you can add some more edges. But I want to leave it as a low poly tree, so this is perfect for me. Now I click Ctrl and B again to bevel. And I can add more edges like this. To make it round or less edges to keep it edgy. So this looks fine for me. I select this edge here, R to rotate, S, make the circle a little bit bigger, press Ctrl B to bevel and I just want to make something like this. Select this edge, Ctrl B to bevel and you see, you give this tree a little bit of variation. Rotate it a little bit, S to scale, make it bigger. Control B to bevel. And now I want to go to the vertex, vertex select. Select this one down here. Press G on my keyboard. Make the circle a little bit bigger. And now I press Z and push it inwards. So this is looking really good for me. We can go back to object mode, select it and shade smooth. Now I go on this section auto smooth and it looks a little bit better. Now I will push it up and make it invisible. The next thing we will create is the strain. For the strain, I press Shift A on my keyboard, add a plane, go to edit mode. Here you can switch object mode, edit mode, click one on my keyboard, 
and select three vertices. Now you click X and delete vertices. So there's only one vertice left. For the strain, we extrude it by clicking E, E to extrude, and this will be our strain at the end. I orbit around, E, E to extrude, E to extrude, and I create the branches, E to extrude. Next thing I will do is to go to object mode, modifiers, add skin modifier, apply the skin modifier, go back to edit mode, and now we want to go to the face selection. I select the face, press S on my keyboard, make the circle a little bit bigger and just the branch a little bit smaller. Now I click R, R to rotate and G to grab and push it upwards. The same thing for this one, G to grab, R to rotate, S to scale, G to grab, G to grab, R to rotate, S to scale, G to grab, and we fail a little bit on this one, but it's, this is not a big problem, it's a low poly world. <laughs> Now we scale this up a little bit and G to push it downwards S to scale it up a little bit and we go back to object mode and this is our strain. You can go to this view here, push it upwards a little bit, go back to object mode and we make our sphere invisib uh, visible again and place it on the branches. Scale this up and R to rotate. Scale it up and now we want to duplicate it by clicking Shift D to duplicate. R to rotate. S to scale. And we place it on our branches. Shift D to duplicate again, R to rotate, S to scale, S Z, scale it in the Z axis to give it some variation. And we are done. Now I want to give it a little bit of color, so I go into the shading tab, new, new color, make it a little bit darker, so now we get brown here, turn the roughness up, and for the leaves, I add a green color. So, congratulations, you are done. This is our first created low poly looking tree. And I added here a scene with a sun. You can just click here, shift A, light and sun. And when you create a sun, you can control the strength of the sun here. I put a 15 here. It's much stronger. A 3, it's not so strong. So, guys, I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And when you want to see more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.